and his U.S. debut album, The Grand Concourse, was released in March to great reviews for its daring blend of genres. I can't wait to hear it, and we'll be able to buy it afterwards. There are copies uh, available at the back uh, desk over there. So we are honored to have him and his band here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm, rich, so very welcome. To the
century, we are going to do a song of mine that is called Sencillez, a song that, that is dedicated to the Cuban pianist, the classical Cuban pianist that influenced me, like Ernesto Lecuona, eh, Manuel Saumel, Cervantes, those classical pianists, they went to Moscow to study classical training. And then they came back to Cuba and brought all that classical training into eh, absorbing the, the popular music of Cuba and making very spicy, very nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to do this song that is called Sencillez. Sencillez means simplicity. The piano. Eh, people say that they can hear the piano well. Right. No, we can hear the piano? Yeah. Okay, let, let's do this real quick. I'm going to do like a, a montuno, just for bar, for you guys to tell me in the back if you can hear the piano. Yes or no, okay? This is not a song, this is just to... <laughs>
better? Get in the back. The sound better? Yes. Let's see. Get another bass in the middle. Get a bass in the middle, right? Bass in the middle. In my monitor. In my monitor. In my monitor. Eh, si sí, señor. <laughs> let's, let's continue now. Okay, we are going all the way now to West Africa. I was explaining. What happens to the shirt? Oh, shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know about it, right? Okay, imagine that as a, as a musician, as a player, you always dream to be in Carnegie Hall, right? So, waiting for your opportunity to be invited from a fan to something to it. My dream came true, and uh, you know, are you guys familiar with Chucho Valdez? Yes. yes. Chucho Valdez is like our Herbie Hancock, our, I don't know, like Oscar Peterson on the Cuban piano, right? So, Chucho Valdez invited me to, to be one of the headliners of a, a, a Carnegie Hall, okay, representing the Cuban generation of, of, of Cuban pianists. So basically, I bought my nice shirt with my nice suit all the way, waiting for it, practicing too long, getting ready, <laughs> sold out, what? So I go to my estate with my nice, uh, how do you call it? Uh, my tie, my bow and tie, everything like this, ready. <laughs> and then for all of you, Dina, me and Gonzalez, I said, okay, I'm going to start the song, the, the concert, solo piano to impress everybody before the Becca Bear and everybody come to the stage. Okay, me sitting here, super doing, preparing my, you know, my, <laughs> <laughs> my funny whole type of thing. <laughs> so I sat down on the piano, and I realized that I couldn't play it because it was so tight. <laughs> I, I was saying like, breathe, don't think about it. Super challenging song of myself, I said, I can't believe that at this, Freaking shirt! He's <laughs> 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 my two months of working for Carnegie Hall. So I, I don't know how I, I found a way to get to the ending. As soon as everyone started clapping, I said, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a human being again. <laughs> Like uh, every time I have a concert, an important concert, like in New York now on October 11th, I'm doing my link concert at the oh. Oh. So, I'm going to have a new clothes, but I'm going to be practicing with the clothes two weeks in advance, just in case I have to go back to Sarah to change it. <laughs> so, we are going now to West Africa. I was saying that at Cuba, was one of the, 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 the countries was, was able to have the late uh, migration of West African tribes, village, into Cuba. So let's say that we were able to have tribes from Benin, Congo, Nigeria, and long story short, because I want to play more music, and I always talk about I'm Cuban, I'm sorry. <laughs> so long story short means that uh, we were able to keep all the, the batat drummings and all the chant and all the festivities that uh, the West African used to have in brought to, to Cuba. So we have a, a thing that is called Iyesa. That, that. So, I was, so I was listening to this type of melodies and I heard that I wasn't only just a mere a, a, a polyrhythm. Melodic wise, it was very rich. So as a composer, I was listening to pieces. I said, wow, that's a great source for me to create a composition around that. So just to make you more jazzy, since you guys call me a jazz piano player. <laughs> so I put it into an meter that is called seven beat. So so let's play in seven beat. One, two, three, four. Time to 
you have something like <laughs> So I created the two Cuban claves, the, 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 the song, one, two, three, one, two, that's what we call song clave, and then we have the rumba clave, which is one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? So basically I mix it together. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Function. Function is one of the days that we have in the Yoruba function. Boom, bam, bing, bam, bam, bam. 